Hello, pipe smokers. Yeah, this is uh, Paul Gilson, a.k.a. Paul the Pipe Guy, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York. Yeah, and so this is kind of a little snippet here of part three on pressing your own tobacco. And what we did, <clears throat> I had the Sutliff Vanilla Custard Cream, all right, which I love this stuff. And then when I went to press it, I pressed it the first evening, got up the next morning, and there was juices running all out. I don't know if that, I suspect that's the topping. It's a fairly moist tobacco. You can see I threw I threw it in a box. It got, it got all over the package and everything. So it's in the press. I'm not going to press this any, anymore. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to actually get it out of the press and we'll see what we have. I suspect it might not be good. I could have pressed all the vanilla topping out of it. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna get this thing out. I'm not gonna bore you with how I get it out. You can figure it out, but I get it out. I get her done. Yeah, it's daylight savings time. I wish the government would leave. Just leave the time alone. Please hear Paul's prayer. We'll be right back and we'll see what kind of mess we have. All right, okay. I will show you how I get this out, okay? This is stuck, okay? So I leave the bottom of the press in there. Then what I do is I take the top of the clamp, okay? And I actually put it onto the side of the three inch PVC pipe so it's not touching the hockey puck. And basically you just get it on there and press it out like so. It's kind of like giving birth. Yeah, there we go. See it's hooked on there, but not touching the hockey pucks. Probably won't work now that I'm videotaping it, but I'm actually slow. Well, you get it, all right? You got to fiddle around with it. Just get it on there, and that's how I get it out. All right, so, yeah, figure that'd be a tidbit of information. We'll be right back. All right, Paul the Pipe Guy back, and uh, we ended up getting it out. As you can see, there's the hockey pucks, two of the bottom ones that I still have to get out. I got the two top ones out. It's just an icky, gooey mess. The clamp is a mess. The, it, the puck fell on the floor and rolled across and now I have like molasses all over my kitchen floor. No big deal. Uh, yeah. So what did we end up with? Besides this. Uh, what did we end up with? We ended up with that. Yeah. That. I would definitely call that at least crumble cake, if not in between crumble cake and crumble plug. Um, like I said, this is a very moist tobacco, and it has vanilla toppings and whatever flavorings in it. So... Um, I don't know. Should we try to smoke this? I mean, that's pretty thick. That's, I mean, I got shit all over the place. It's like somebody blew up a molasses bomb or something here. But, uh, that actually came out to just what I said, 1.5 inches thick. All right. And that will fit perfectly in a tin, in an empty tin. All right, I could have squeezed this more. I could have squeezed it actually down to an inch thick instead of an inch and a half, but because of the mess and everything running out being such a moist blend, I wasn't going to go through that. So that's what we have. Let's see if we can maybe clean up a little bit and maybe try to smoke some. I don't know. We'll be right back. Alrighty, pipe smoker. So um, I actually cleaned up a little bit here. Hands are still a little bit stained, but it's okay. And I thought I was going to have just a gooey mess and 
because on the top and the bottom, uh, the juices were running out pretty profusely, so I, I suspected that the whole thing. But what I did is I carved a flake off, if you want to call it that, and it's actually pretty dry on the inside. You can see it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but, you know, this was loose leaf tobacco, vanilla custard made by Sutliff. So I sliced a little bit off. The interior seems to be dry. Um, that actually is pressed. I would say I got it up to a thousand pounds. So that would be, uh, in my guesstimation, in between uh, crumble cake, which is, in my estimation, is pressed at about 500 to 750 pounds versus crumble plug, which is loose leaf tobacco and is compressed at I can press it. I mean, that clamp is rated for a thousand pounds. So I take it above and beyond that. Even though it's rated for a thousand, usually you can double that and the tool still will not fail. So that's what we have right there. Look at that. Yeah, you can see it. So we're going to pause the video again. And we're going to rub some of this out and smoke it. And, uh, I'm going to do a comparison between the regular loose leaf vanilla custard and um, <clears throat> the vanilla custard uh, crumble plug that I just made. Yeah, it is messy. Okay, pipe smokers. One other thing that uh, I did want to share with you. I did weigh this on my digital scale. And after I sliced off that slice right there, I weighed this on the digital scale and it weighs 196 grams, which is 6.9 ounces. So basically rounded up to 200 grams with that slice I took off and rounded up to seven ounces, which basically this is almost one half of a pound. There are 16 ounces in a pound and this weighs seven ounces. It's 1.5 inches high by three inches and it weighs almost a half a pound. It, it's two ounces shy of a half a pound. It's actually, uh, no, it's one ounce, one ounce shy of a half a pound. That's a lot of backy packed in a little package. All right, just figured I'd throw that in there. Now we're going to load up two bowls and we're going to com do a, a comparison. Alrighty, 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 pipe smokers. So Paul the Pipe Guy is back live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York. And oh, by the way, it is, Miss March says it is, yes, Miss March, look at her, she's beautiful. She's looking at you, man, she's checking you out. She looks dangerous. Anyway, she says that it is the 16th of March, yeah. Thursday, the 16th of March. Let's put her back up here on the refrigerator. <clears throat> yeah. And it just so happens that the Sutliff, the Z92 Sutliff Vanilla Custard that I pressed, I started pressing it two or three days ago, uh, actually three days ago, was actually, has been aging... Look at this, you won't believe it. March 16th of 2021. Right there. Right there's the date, March 16th, 2021. So it's been aging for two years. I did open it. I, I would suspect that I've already used seven ounces. There's probably two ounces or three ounces left in here. So out of 16 ounces, I probably had nine ounces I probably had nine ounces altogether and 16 ounces is a pound so I don't know what's that three quarters of a pound it doesn't matter it has nothing to do with this video but it is two years old so um, so what we have we have two Mr. Brog Briar pipes that I've chosen they are both nine millimeter Okay, and they are both made out of briar. 
and I bought them both brand new. They are not ghosted. If you don't know what ghosting a pipe is, then look it up. Um, yeah, this is not about pipe ghosting. So, the first one we have is the Mr. Brog number 89 stand-up pipe. 9 millimeter briar, look at that pipe. I've owned this one for a couple years, and she's a beauty. And in that, we have the loose leaf, all right, which I want to share with you. I'll show it to you. All right. We have the loose leaf tobacco. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's cut. It's pretty long cut, you know. And if you want to know what's in vanilla custard besides vanilla topping, you can look it up. This is not a tobacco review. Now, in our second pipe, doing this comparison, we're doing a comparison between the loose leaf uh, vanilla custard by Sutliff versus the pressed. Uh, and I did rub this out, and I would say it's more towards the... It's actually in between crumble plug and crumble cake. It's right in between. I'm not going to go over what that is again. All right. It's basically crumble cake. You press it, in my opinion, between 500 and 750 pounds per square inch. It compresses the tobacco, marries the different blends and whatever that are in there. And crumble plug is pressed between 1,500 pounds and 2,000 pounds per square inch, which actually marries it, but it almost makes it plug tobacco, thus coined crumble plug made of loose leaf versus where regular plug tobacco is stacked like a, its leaves stacked like a deck of cards. We've already gone through this in part one and part two. So the second pipe that we have this monstrous freaking almost double hockey puck. It's freaking seven ounces. All right. We have that in our Mr. Brog. All right. Look at that. Look at the waves on top of that. We have our Mr. Brog poker pipe. Briar. There's no bowl number. It just says Mr. Brog poker. Briar. And uh, I bought this pipe. I love this pipe. It's nine millimeter also. I saw the waves on the top, how they did that. And the briar on these Mr. Brog pipes is flawless. I'm not trying to sell Mr. Brog pipes. I love them. They actually had me endorse some stuff. So uh, we did cut a slice off, all right, of our crumble cake plug. And I rubbed it out, and uh, this is what I came up with. You know, you can see it's much finer than the loose leaf tobacco because I sliced it off. And one suggestion from Paul the Pipe Guy, if you have uh, crumble cake, crumble plug, or regular plug, Uh, take your time rubbing it out. That's the rite of passage. Yeah. Yeah, that has a double meaning. Let's set something on fire, all right? Let's start with a, with a uh, smell test for us, okay? This video is going on a lot longer than I wanted it to, but it is what it is, all right? So we have the loose leaf here. I can smell all the ingredients, which I wish I would have looked up before, but I don't know how to pause the video and look it up again. You you can look up what's in Sutliff at Ella Custer. Uh, this is a great morning smoke. It's a great after dinner smoke. I mean, if you want like a dessert type of... Now I can smell a lot of vanilla. And I can smell the blood. Then we take the, I don't know, crumble cake, crumble plug in between. I don't know what it is. It's a hermaphrodite, whatever. We smell that. Mm. 
the, th the thing about pressing tobacco is, now, I can smell this. I can smell the vanilla. And I can smell the different ingredients, okay? They've been somewhat married because they've been blended. When you press them, it has one smell. It becomes one. It's like when you get married, you become one. So I can smell the vanilla in here. Can I pick out the different varieties of tobacco? No, because they've all been pressed. In other words, it's like baking a cake, all right? You know, you can smell all the different ingredients. The sugar has a certain smell to it. The dough has a certain smell to it. The flour has a certain smell to it. Uh, whatever you put in your cake that you're baking, all right, it all has different smells. When you mix them all together, okay, trying to make a comparison here, then you smell the batter, you have one smell. Then when you bake it, it has a different smell, but it's one, it's blended, it's married. And that's what that is. So uh, one of my subscribers said, is there a uh, tobacco that you know of that uh, has more of a vanilla taste than uh, vanilla custard? Yeah, there is. It's compressed vanilla custard. Yeah, I smell just one smell. It's all the ingredients married. Juices flowing toppings flowing. That's one thing. All right. I think I said enough about my comparison between different ingredients and when you mix them together and bake and whatever. You get it. Let's set something on fire. We're going to start out with the loose leaf, unpressed tobacco. Let's try that. I already did a char burn. Mm. Okay, that tastes like <clears throat> Z92 Sutla Vanilla Custard, the way it should. Never judge a tobacco on the char light. Never judge a tobacco on your first couple of tokes. you got to smoke that baby down. i got three quarters of a bowl in this. You gotta get the juices flowing. Mm. Like I said, it's not a tobacco review, but uh, people that have been over, and I can actually, normally I can't smell the room note uh, on the tobaccos I smoke for some reason, I can't smell my own room note. But, you know, I can, I can smell the room note on this is vanilla custard and it's very pleasant. It's, it smells like a dessert. Mm -hmm. All right, now we must clear the palate. And we have one bush beer here. Yes, we do. We must clear the palate before we try the, the press stuff. I don't think my palate's quite clear. Uh, yeah, it's clear now. All right, so we're going to try the pressed crumble cake slash crumble plug. It's in between, whatever. Did the char light on it already? Here we go.
do I notice a difference? I still like it. The flavors are married, so this tastes like just, it's like one vanilla blend. It's not as complex. I do like it. I like it a lot. But in this experiment with pressing subtle vanilla custard, I can still taste that vanilla flavor, but it kind of lost its, like, I don't know whether it squeezed the topping vanilla juice out of it or whatever. I miss the complexity of the loose leaf. That right there is probably about $40 at least now did i waste my money no i still like this a lot but it tastes like one blend where i like the complexity of the loose leaf better did the science experiment fail no, I don't believe it did. I think uh, maybe some of you folks might have learned how to press tobacco and so forth. I did want to do the taste test at the end to see the difference. It's not that I'm disappointed with this. I, I like this. And what I'll do is I'll put this in a Ziploc bag, freezer bag. And on the freezer bag, what I'll do is I'll write the date that it was manufactured, the blend, and when I pressed it. It does smell good. Maybe it just needs time to, after pressing, to age a little bit more and come back from the shock of all the juices and everything being compressed. I don't know. I'm still happy with it. I, I'm happy with that, but uh, in retrospect, um, I won't be pressing any more vanilla custard, and uh, I think if I have loose leaf blends that um, come th from the manufacturer that I love, that are aromatics, that have toppings in them, that are very moist, in the future, I don't think I'll press those. I'll just make my own blends, whatever. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, live from the outskirts of Rochester, New York. And, uh, yeah, the video's gone on for 24 minutes and 27 seconds, so a lot longer than I wanted, but I just wanted to touch on those points. Anyways, Paul the Pipe Guy, still alive from the outskirts of Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. Thank the Lord. God bless you all. And I hope you enjoyed this three-part video and maybe learn something. Even if it's just one little thing. I don't know. Over and out.